Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example again is a quadratic equation. Notice that we have the x squared term here and with quadratic equations what we like to do is move all the terms to the left side and a zero on the right side. So let's go ahead and do that. So in this case we end up with x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals zero. Now this looks like something we may be able to factor. Let's give it a try. It shouldn't take us too long to figure out if it's factorable or not. So if it is, it would be written as the product of two binomials. That would then be equal to zero. And since we have an x squared here, that means we need an x and an x. And since it's a negative here, we need a positive and a negative. So when we multiply, a positive and negative gives us a negative. Now we're looking for two numbers. When we multiply, we get negative four. When we add, we get a negative three. How about this? How about a negative four and a positive one. If we add those two together, plus one minus four gives us negative three. We multiply a one times a minus four gives us a negative four. So it is factorable, which makes it easy to solve the equation. Again, we have the product of two binomials. The first binomial multiplied times the second binomial, and then, then gives us a zero, which means when you multiply two things together and you get a zero, either one is zero or the other must be zero. In other words, Either x plus 1 must equal 0 or x minus 4. Oh, x minus 4 must equal 0. That's the only possibilities. That means that x must equal a negative 1 or x must equal 4. Either one of those are proper solutions. If you plug these, any one of these two values back in the original equation, the left side will equal the right side, which means that here are the solutions to that original equation. And that's how it's done.